In this video, we'll go over all the hunting grounds in Horizon Forbidden West and how to complete them with the goal to acquire the legendary Tintress Pride Trick Tester, as well as collecting hunting medals to be able to buy some other very rare weapon from the arena. The first hunting ground, the Down, can be found northeast of Baron Light. Being a level 5 ground, this one is relatively easy and straightforward. After talking to the ground skipper and getting through the explanations on how to win stripes, you will be presented with three different time trials. Each stripes will give you some reward after completion, and you can revisit each challenge to gain higher stripe as you progress. You will also get a grand reward after getting each of the quarter, half and full stripes for each of the three challenges at each hunting ground. Looking at each trial, the Grand Skipper will give you tips on how to complete each challenge, which will make it easier, especially for new players. If a challenge requires specific ammo type, you can find an NPC selling weapons at the ground with the required ammo loadout if you don't have any on hand yet. First trial will have you loot two power cells out of Scrounger. Using your focus, you can type the part you want to loot and shooting them with their ammo will release them. You can use short ammo to temporarily stun the scrounger, giving you more time to tear off the power cells. Doing it as fast as you can will ensure you get full stripes reward. But there's no stress at the hunting ground. You can try each trial multiple times until you get the hang of it. Know what part to shoot, what path the machines are taking, and the witnesses. You will then get all the rewards for the challenge with a certain amount of hunting medals and resources depending on the stripes reward acquired. The second trial is a bit more tricky. You will have to shot a stronger power cell for it to explode and shot three nearby machines. To get the full stripes, you need to complete the challenge under three minutes, which gives you plenty of time. Just make sure the scrounger is near other machines before shooting its power cell with some shark ammo. Keeping hidden in the tall red grass will also help you being undetected and give you time to wait for the right moment to shoot. Like every challenge, you can stay in to finish the rest of the machines and loot them, or go back directly to the ground skipper to collect your stripes and rewards. The last trial, the shot and trap trial, will have you shot a machine under a trap and then set off the trap on it. You can spot the traps with your fortress, but they are easy to locate around the ground. The challenge of this trial is dealing with the chaos that ensue and using some patience to wait for the right moment to strike. Hiding in the tall grass near a trap, you can wait for a machine to pass by and shot it when nearby. Then you only need to shoot at the trap to set it off. Do this three times and that will be the shot and trap trial done. You can then collect your trial rewards and whichever grand stripes reward you will have completed at the down. The next hunting ground can be found northwest of Blissong. This level 10 challenge is all about stealth and silent strike. The first trial will have you loot 3 chests without being detected. This trial isn't hard at all, but may need some trial and error to find the best route between the chests, while avoiding the machines. You do have plenty of time, so it should not be too hard. The first chest is on the right edge of the pit. You just need to jump off the cliff and hide in the tall grass to avoid the barrels. Going back up and using the pool caster, you can get a better view from the post while being undetected. Wait until the barrels are out of view and reach the second chest. For the third chest, you can move around following the patches of long grass. Know that even if the question mark appears on your screen, you won't be detected until it turns fully red. But an alerted machine will come close to your location to investigate, so stay hidden until it leaves. It may take a bit of time though, so be patient. On the way slave, you can make your way stealthily to the back of the pit, where you will find the last chest. And once looted, that will be the trial completed, and you can get your reward from the Grand Skipper. The second trial will have you kill machines by using the silent strike or strike from above on a machine. 
The pit and the machines are the same as the first trial, giving you already an idea of what to expect. Adding in the top brass, you can wait until the machine passes by to silence strike it. Do this three times, and that's the trial done. The third trial, called Silent Lighting, is all about using your shield wind to strike from above. Using your pull caster, you can reach the top of a post to then glide above a borrower and strike. You can also just glide off the cliff edge to strike the borrower on the right side of the pit. For this trial, you only need to kill two machines, which should be relatively easy. Once done, you can collect your rewards and Grand Stripes reward from the Grand Skipper. The third hunting ground is Shearside Mountain that can be found north of the map and east of the Bulwark. At a recommended level of 20, this hunting ground is a bit more challenging with more powerful machines. And once again, if you don't have the ammo loadout needed for the trial, a weapon merchant is at the ground with various weapons on offer. The first trial will have you put below bats into brittle state using frost ammo to then destroy their refining sites. The refining site is easy to spot as it's the main part of the below bat body, but using your focus you can tie the part if needed. You just need to shoot the below bat with frost ammo until the brittle icon is filled. Then the other lining of the circle will display a down before the machine shuts off the brittle state. This is your window to shoot the refining sack on its back until it explodes. Using hunter or terrain arrows should do the trick. Repeat the process with the two other bellow bats to complete this trial. Once again, you can repeat the trial multiple times to get a lay of the land and know what to expect to get for the full stripes. Once done, you can collect your rewards from the ground skipper. The second trial will have you hit a machine with a charge up shredder two times. To charge up a shredder, you will have to throw a disc and catch it three times in a row for it to power up. Attaching the bellow back on the right hand side is the best option as the other machines won't spot you. Now the tint with the shredder is on to throw it, keep an eye on the direction it's coming back to to be able to catch it. The mechanic is pretty forgiving, so you don't have to be on the money to catch it, as long as you're close enough. May take some trial and error to get the hang of the shredder. Unsurveyed the machine twice with the charged shredder, and that will be the second trial done. The third trial can seem a bit more challenging at first. You will need to put the roller bat in a plasma state twice and hit it while the timer is running out. In itself, the task isn't too hard, but the three below bats are in the pit too, and you have a timer of two minutes to do it. The trick is to place the roller bat in plasma state as quick as possible, and just hit it once or twice before evading the other machines, until the timer runs down, and you can get in a better spot to put the roller bat in plasma state once again. Note that you don't have to kill the machine and you can directly go back to the ground skipper to collect your rewards. And as for all trial, if you don't get the full stripes on your first go, you can replay the trial until you polish your approach and get all the full stripes. The last hunting ground can be found further west of the map. The Rantrans hunting ground are rated level 25 and are by far the most challenging, especially if you are at a lower level. The pit is pretty open and with the Tremotos and three Claws Striders in there, be ready for a fight. The first trial will have you gather two Tremotos tossed. If you're a sharp shooter, you can take them out with some tear arrow. Another option is to use short arrows to stun the trimmer tusk, and once it's done, you can just shoot off the tusk to complete the trial. The second trial will have you override the claw strider and use it to kill two other machines. You can ride the claw strider and kill the two others pretty easily.
or if you don't want to mod it you can just help it dead in the tails by shooting the other claw strider or distracting the trematost note that for a kill to count your override machine will have to make the last blow if you decide to shoot at them The last trial is the heavy weapon trial. You will have to shoot off the Trematos cannon from its back and use them to kill machines. You can use hunter arrows and if you have the ability to notch three of them, that will make it easy to dislodge the first cannon before any machine gets alerted. Once the cannons are off, just grab one and start shooting the machines. The close striders will go down in two or three shots and make sure you're close enough as the bolts travels really slowly and take time to reach the destination. After completing the trial, you can go to the ground skipper to collect your reward. And with that, it will be the hunting ground completed. As a final reward, you will also receive the Tinker's Pride Trip Caster, as well as the trophy associated with the hunting grounds. The Tinker's Pride Trip Caster comes with two perks and three cold slots to start with, but can be upgraded to then four perks and five cold slots. Going to the arena, you can exchange your hunting medals for some very rare weapons with various ammo loadouts too. I hope that video has been useful and stay tuned for more Horizon Forbidden West videos. And until next time, see ya.